Welcome to the first video in my series on Enlight Video Leap, which is an application for iPhones that allows you to edit video quickly and easily. One of the things I like about it is that it works in portrait mode. This is great because that's the way that most of us hold our phones. If you've seen my series on the InShot video editor, you'll know that while that's a great application, there are certain things it can't do. So I'll open up Video Leap, and the first thing that you see is this screen. I'll tap the plus sign to add some media. At the bottom of the screen you have two tabs, Recents, which allows you to access your gallery, and Stock. If I tap on Stock, you'll see that I can add some images and other assets provided inside Video Leap for free. Because I have a paid membership to Video Leap, I can use anything I want, but anything that says Premium, you have to pay for. I'll select an image and tap on it to download it into this project. Then I'll hit the play icon to play the footage. If the easiest way to delete footage is to long press on any video clip and drag it down into the trash can, the footage will disappear. It's now gone. I'll tap the plus sign once more, and I'll begin by showing you how to add several images or video clips to the same project. Just tap each image or video clip you want to add. It will be checked like you see here. When you've selected all of your images, just tap Add to Project and they will be added in the order that they were selected. You can do the same thing with photos or video clips, though the duration will be different depending on what you add. Notice the gray bar that appears in the center of each photo. This is for transitions, and I'll discuss that in a future video in this series. For now, I'll tap on the play icon to show you how to play your video once all of your clips or images have been added. For now, I'm just showing you how to play video. You can pause the video at any time by tapping the pause icon. The video will then pause. Once this finishes playing, I'll open up a new project and show you how to add a single video clip. I'll add the clip Trim the clip. Let's open a new project and I'll tap on Recents and I'm going to add this clip. The most recent clip you recorded will appear in the bottom right hand corner. Just tap it and tap Add to Project. Once the clip is added, I'm going to tap the play icon to play the clip to make sure that it's the right one. There is some audio in this clip. You'll hear it in a few seconds. Love you. Love you too. I'm going to trim off the end of this clip and have it end before I appear. I'll tap the clip to select it. When I do, you'll notice a white box with arrows on either end will surround the clip in the timeline and a pink box will surround the clip in the preview area. Then I'll just slide the arrow on the end back to the point where I want the clip to end. Now I'll scrub back a bit and play the clip from that point to show you that the clip will end exactly where I want it to. If you have to remove footage from the middle of a video clip, you can do that using the split function with your clip selected like it is now. The first thing I'm going to do is show you how to adjust the video format by tapping on Canvas and then Format. These are the preset video formats that VideoLeap offers. To choose one, just tap on it and the video will change accordingly. There are lots to choose from. Watch what happens to the video in the preview area as I select each video format. The last option, labeled Fill, will take your video and fill the entire preview area when you select it. If you use this option, you will not see the background if you change it. To go back to the main toolbar, tap the arrow on the left hand side of the screen. I think I'll choose 16 by 9 for the format of this video. 
If you tap the arrow once, you'll notice that you have a background option. This will allow you to change the background. But once again, you'll have to use a different option other than fill to see this. You have two options. You can add blur or you can choose a color. If I tap on color, notice that by default black is selected. I'll leave the color set to black, but you can use any of the colors shown. The next thing I'm going to do is scrub back a bit from the end of the clip and use the split icon to create two separate clips. I'll select my clip so that the colored box has appeared once more white in the timeline, and pink in the preview area. Then I'll find the split icon and tap on it, which will create two separate clips. Then I'll scrub back to the beginning and play the video with all of my edits. I added the clip, I trimmed the clip, I split the clip into two. Let's take a look at the clip now. Once you're done editing, you'll have to export your video. To do this, tap on export. Here you can change the resolution. You can export your video as high as 4K. I'll choose 1080p. So I'm going to move the slider to 1080p. I'm going to leave the frames per second slider where it is. Then I'll tap on photos to export it to my camera roll. I'll do a more detailed video on how to export your footage differently later on in the series. The footage has now been exported.